Good morning my dear students today i mrs daljit kaur will be teaching you the first chapter crop production and management the topics which we are going to cover under this chapter are agriculture crops agricultural practices which involves soil preparation selection and sowing of seeds addition of manure and fertilizer irrigation weeding and crop protection harvesting and storage of grains so let's start first with what is agriculture the practice of growing plants and rearing animals on a large scale for food fiber and other useful products is known as agriculture now what are crops when plants of same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale is called a crop for example crop of wheat means that all the plants grown in a field are that of wheat now let's discuss about the various types of crops there are basically two types kharif that is the rainy season crop and rabi that is the winter season crop let's discuss the points of differences amongst the two types of crops the kharif crops are grown during the monsoon that is the rainy season rabi crops are grown during the winter season kharif crops require warm and wet weather rabi crops require cold and dry weather kharif crops are sown in june or july and harvested in september or october rabi crops on the other hand are sown in october on november and harvested in the month of march or april the examples of kharif crops are rice jowar urad bajra cotton etc and the examples of rabi crops are wheat barley gram mustard etc now we are going to discuss the various agricultural practices one by one children so for today i'm going to take up the first agricultural practice and that is soil preparation this is an important practice which helps to enrich the soil and makes it more fertile and aerated it involves basically turning and loosening and leveling of the soil using agricultural implements like spade plow or mechanical farm implements now what are the advantages of the method of soil preparation this step allows the roots to penetrate deep into the soil the loose soil allows the roots to breathe easily even when they go deep into the soil the loosened soil also helps in the growth of earthworms and microbes present in the soil these organisms are friends of farmer children since they further turn and loose the soil and they add humus to the soil now soil preparation basically involves two steps let's discuss those two steps the first step is plowing also called as tilling and the other step is leveling let's first discuss about plowing the process of loosening and turning the soil using a tool or an implement called plow is called plowing here i want to share a fact with you children organisms such as earthworm also help in plowing the field with their burrowing action which further helps in loosening the soil 
Now let's discuss the various agricultural implements which we use for the process of plowing. The first one is plow. In old days people used wooden plow but nowadays people use iron plows also. Hoy it's a simple tool used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil. Nowadays children plowing is done by tractor driven cultivator which saves both time and labor. The next level is leveling. It is the process to do soil surface in level for sowing of seeds which is actually the next step in the agricultural practices. So we need to level the soil and it is done by using a leveler made of wood or iron. That's all for today children. I will be coming up with the rest of the agricultural practices in my next video. Thank you.